As the academic library for Texas A&M University Texarkana, the John F. Moss Library's stated mission is to assist Texas A&M University Texarkana in fulfilling the purpose and goals of the institution. This includes not only meeting student, faculty, staff, and community needs, but also the needs of the institution to retain accreditation by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges. Student demographics lean young, white, female, undergraduate, and majoring in education or liberal arts. A wide range of information and communication technology is available through the library. Here's a short tour of the library and a quick overview of the library's website offerings. Through the library's page on the university website, you can use our web scale search option to search all of our databases and catalog at once, look at the information resources page for more options, search our eaglet catalog, or look at the A to Z databases page for a list of all the databases the university offers. For the SWOT analysis, I identified some positives and some negatives for the library's information ecology. The strengths include a dedicated staff with expertise, a wide range of items to check out, being well-funded by the state and other sources, integrating technology into events, and being responsive to faculty and student requests. Some opportunities coming up include new buildings being added to the university, which could mean more library space, increasing awareness of accessibility initiatives that have been passed by the state, higher enrollment figures could mean more event involvement by students, and recent successful YouTube videos and increase in Facebook followers could mean more event involvement as well. For some weaknesses that the library has right now, its staff does need more cross-training, as right now the staff training is a little bit compartmentalized. Shelf space is dwindling fast in the main collection, and we're having to weed more than we'd like. There's also been low event attendance by students, which we're hoping will continue to get better. As far as threats, as enrollment increases, database costs will actually increase as well, and we may have to cut resources to stay on budget. In addition to that, there's student apathy not only about events held by the library, but about using the library resources themselves, as students see the library as redundant to the internet. Some lessons I learned in completing this project include that stacking programs has pros and cons. In order to create this presentation, I used Prezi to create the bones of the presentation itself, Word to plan and make pie charts, GIMP to edit images, Microsoft Movie Maker to create video, YouTube to publish video, 
Audacity to edit audio, PowerPoint to create the smart art swap chart, a f and a free screencast software to, cre to record the Prezi to make it into a video. Using all of these programs allows me to do more things that I wouldn't be able to do through one tech through one interface, but it does add a lot of time to the creation of the, the final product and it, it can lead to some complicated steps that have to be planned out ahead of time. I also learned that when you're looking for a specific photograph through a Facebook page of an organization, there can be a lot of photos that you have to search through before you find what you're looking for. And it takes a lot of time to load all of those pictures or to guess which album it might be in. So Facebook as a source for images, unless you find exactly what you're looking for right off the bat, can actually be kind of difficult to use. Another thing I learned was that editing video was the best new skill that I learned in the past year. I'm really glad that I had the opportunity to learn it for work and that I'm able to put it into use doing, dur during these school projects. Um, I had no idea when I was learning it that it would come in so useful. Another thing I learned was that editing audio is definitely going to have to be um, a next step for me because I don't feel as comfortable editing audio. And actually a program that I also used that I forgot to list earlier was um, Recorder Pro Plus on my phone to record the audio so that I can add it into the video afterward. My references include the university's website, the library's page within that website, Information Ecology's article by Nardi and O'Day, the SWOT analysis from the Community Toolbox, photographs that came from the university's Facebook as well as the library's Facebook, data from the university data resources page within the university's website, and a song from bensound.com that I used in the video, which is a great resource for royalty-free music. Thank you very much.